So I'm about to take you through this collection that just came into the shop. I don't have too much backstory on it, but long story short, this I guess was a guy who might have owned a record store at one point or was a dealer and um, I guess someone related to him was selling all of his records at some point recently and they stumbled into my shop and this person had such an insane amount of records, like stuff I've never seen before, tons of really unique picture discs, ton of hard rock stuff, ton of classic rock, some unique stuff like uh, some Taiwanese or Singaporean uh, bootlegs, um, just some, some things I've never seen before as a collector or as a now store owner. And these tubs have like multiples of every copy. Like there's so many different Stones and Beatles records that have like three, four, five copies of each one. Um, I'm gonna go through and show you kind of just like random like flip through of the collection and just kind of go really fast. And then I'm also gonna show you a little more concentrated some records that I pulled out that I think are super interesting and give you a sneak peek of those because this is just a really great collection. I think the price I got it for was extremely fair, um, which was really nice. And there are some heavy hitter pieces in there as well as a ton of staples that will help keep the shop stocked for quite some time. So really excited about this one. It's such a good feeling when a good collection comes in. You just know you got a bunch of cool stuff to put out for the next few weeks or months, whatever it may be. But uh, let me show you some of the best stuff. Three tubs and it is just a absolute journey to be digging through these and discovering all sorts of random things. Uh, some things are scratched, some things are pristine. It's really like just like a, a hunt in this collection alone. And some things are just the jacket, some things have other records in the jacket. It's It's been fun going through it so far, but it's interesting because this person just had like multiple copies of so many things. And for example, like this is a copy of Load that was there, uh, but it only had one disc and no jacket. So where's the other disc? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we got like, you know, these are like some staples. Another MoFi. Bunch of good stones. Some... He's got some laser discs in here too. Uh, a lot of Hendrix in this collection. A lot of Hendrix. Harrison. There's like 50 copies of some girls in here. There was also a Japanese pressing of the wall that was near mint, which is really cool. No OB strip, but still. Just a quick flip, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what kind of stuff is here. Ton of Kiss, we got multiple double platinums in here whole bunch of KISS records in varying conditions, but you know, basically everything you want, which is cool. So much KISS. And a ton of Beatles, just like a lot of Beatles. And look how many copies of these greatest hit, or these, uh, these, these hits comps they have. It's just like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> So here's just some random selects that I'm pulling from the collection. Just some interesting or unique or cool things. There's this Smith's uh, interview picture disc. Um, we got this early Guns N' Roses, obviously not the cover everyone wants, but definitely uh, I think some kind of early pressing. Um, got this half speed mastered Springsteen Born to Run, which is super cool. I'm excited to hear that. A lot of cool picture discs in here. They got this E.T. I love this Walk the Dinosaur from the Super Mario Brothers movie picture disc. I'm sure it's not worth a ton, but what a cool little find. A uh, little Iggy Pop picture disc. This Jimi Hendrix plays Berkeley. I've never seen this before. Another, this cool shaped Maiden picture disc, which is awesome. This Anthrax picture disc. We got Ozzy Diary this is an early pressing. Oh, another Ozzy Diary early pressing. Quadraphonic Santana Abraxas, which is cool. Um, a bunch of cool Maiden records, like a lot of the essentials people really want. First press of Bridges to Babylon. You got some girls with Lucille Ball and Marilyn. Sealed copy. I think this is original press of uh, Rage, People of the Sun EP. This really cool uh, Megadeth Holy Wars picture disc. Another Ozzy picture disc. Another Smith's interview disc, which I know some people really like those Smith's uh, interview discs for some reason. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, this is a, uh, it says it's uh, some authorized family edition audiophile pressing, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, I got original, original cover of Skinnerd Street Survivors, um, some Zappa picture disc. This is a cool like uh, Sergeant Pepper picture disc. I'm curious about when this came out. And we got Madonna, Rain. 
Early Hendrix, I don't think I've seen this one ever. Ooh, Stone Temple Pilots picture disc, that's rad. Signed to Barbara Streisand, I'm assuming that's real, but signed to someone named Betty. Might be the only Barbara Streisand record worth anything at this point. <laughs> Anthrax picture disc. This is a cool share picture disc. Another Anthrax picture disc. And these are some cool, I don't know if they're Taiwanese or Singaporean, um, like bootlegs, like they have Zeppelin one and they're super, super clean. I don't know, they probably don't sound great, but I'm sure collectors are into this. Some deep purple, they have one for Harvest. This is a sealed copy of Indelibly Stamped by Super Tramp. I can't show the cover because it's uh, offensive. Another Zappa picture disc. And we have some MoFi's, some early MoFi's in here. We got uh, Super Tramp Crime of the Century, Lace and Whiskey, Alice Cooper, Motorhead, No Remorse, so cool. Got a MoFi iRobot. MoFi Foreigner Double Vision, MoFi Super Tramp Breakfast in America. And then two more I pulled. Um, this is a uh, Eric Clapton Slow Hand MoFi, which uh, is near mint, goes for a lot of money. And then this is a first pressing of Slayer Rain and Blood, near mint. I cleaned it, it sounds amazing. So there you have it. This is just a smattering of what's in there. There's way more than I showed you, but uh, I'm gonna be going through this slowly, cleaning stuff, pricing stuff. Uh, so if you're in the area, make sure you stop by. And some of this stuff will likely make it to Whatnot as well. So I'll be doing another Whatnot stream probably the first week of August. So look forward to that for another batch of crazy grails. Guarantee you'll be some stuff from this collection. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, the journey continues. More videos coming soon. Take it easy.